Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Tori. If you're new here, it is the day after Christmas. We are enjoying our happy juice and having a good time with our new toys. I baked some cinnamon rolls this morning and I just felt inspired and motivated to get my house clean, believe it or not. So this happy juice has been doing just amazing things for me you know i've talked about it a lot pretty uh recently but it's just awesome so it is the day after christmas and we are just trying to get everything done i tend to do this i don't undecorate but it gets a bit chaotic with my husband home and the kids getting all of their new toys so right now i'm just starting off with the clothes and i'm just taking all the toy no the tags off <laughs> that uh, are on the new clothes that we got for christmas so very fortunate that we have that and I'm getting those washed and then my husband is taking the boxes out so it's very rare that I have him here to help but he asked what he could do so I delegated and said hey maybe you could take out the boxes so we have some room to walk so that is what we're doing here and then my son got a fool's gold rock uh, breaking kit so there was plaster everywhere and my tripod was slipping. I apologize, but I am just going to let some music play and just pop in here and there and tell you what I'm doing. You've seen me do a weekly reset before, but this one is just a bit different because it's after the holiday. So I hope you can turn some music on and clean alongside with me. I hope this is motivational. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Tori. I make videos three to four times a week all about motherhood and I would love it if you hit that subscribe button. Let me know if you're new and let's get into this day. I won't make it easy for you now. You got two minutes of my time. And I don't really break too easily, but I'm worth it because I'll slip into dreams tonight oh, oh, oh so give me so give me your all i'll take it i'll take it to mars oh i'll stick like glue inside your mind just watch me break it Watch me break
we are back from the grocery store we obviously got a lot but i was shopping for new year's eve and we needed miscellaneous like bathroom stuff i guess self-care products that makes more sense but i'm gonna get you flipped around and show you what we got and then what i plan to do with it so some meals and then i wanted to show you what we're making for dinner i have some venison thawing out and i am just going to use some of my leftovers that we had <laughs> on Christmas day and just make them into different meals. So I think we're gonna make some shepherd's pie and I make it a little bit differently. So I'm excited to share the recipe, but first let me show you what we got. Alrighty, so we did do King Supers, shop the app, did everything we could and ended up spending like $250, but it is what it is. I feel like a lot of this stuff will last us throughout the month. So yeah, that's just how it goes sometimes. But we got some organic apple juice. We got whole vitamin D milk. Uh, the organic I thought was on sale but there was no whole organic milk on sale so we missed out on that we got some eggs large brown eggs cage-free organic over here we have some pulled pork and then the boneless pork ribs they were both on sale my husband likes those I think I like them too I'm I still I can't remember if I do but anyways uh chicken breast tenders 655 on sale and then I got some lemon garlic pork for New Year's Day and we do pork and sauerkraut it's a Pennsylvania Dutch thing my husband actually didn't and we lived pretty close so you will see in some of my recipes that PA Dutch is actually a pretty close community I feel like it's very small because he lived so close to me and he you know didn't grow up on the recipes that I did so very unique, but it's a delicious meal and it's made for everyone uh, so you can have good luck in the new year. That's why we make it. But yeah, I'm excited about that. We have some good culture cottage cheese as well as some queso. The butter was on sale for $2.99, so we grabbed that. We have some whole wheat bread as well as some chips. I didn't get a chance to make any bread, but I'm going to try and get to that tomorrow morning. We have some... <laughs> A baby laughing. We have some solid white albacore tuna as well as black beans. We have green beans, pintos, and then uh, chicken breast just for some chicken salad. We have some Angus roast beef for sandwiches, an orange for drinks. Uh, we have some applesauce. The organic tree top was like the same price, so we grabbed that. The blueberries were on sale for three fifty. I was excited to see that because Emmy really loves these blueberries. I got some organic sauerkraut that was on sale for like. 229 that's super cheap i'm excited for new year's day we have wax cut green beans great northern beans pete's coffee was a dollar off we have the grain free puffs that's what amelia eats i really like serenity kids i love their other meals as well um the purees but the puffs are great we have yellow mustard here as well as the Kerrygold butter that was on for 3.99 the Cascadian Farbs Organic Bars were on sale for $2.69, so that's like half the price. We have Organic Rainier Pears. We have Townhouse Crackers and My Crackers. You will see a lot of doubles, and it's my husband's version and my version, which is pretty funny. We have Almond Flour Rosemary Sea Salt Crackers from Simple Mills. They are delicious. Okay, one second, Benny. We have some potatoes o'brien with diced potatoes and bell peppers these run for $1.99 and then we have bananas i needed a milk throffer for my happy juice and this was on sale for six dollars so we want to grab that and then my husband got a gift of whole bean coffee we don't have a coffee grinder so this was on sale so we grabbed that we got some honey smoked salmon spicy chipotle and lime for crackers 
toothpaste for my husband. Uh, the Castile soap that I use for the kids' bath is the Simple Truth Organic Coconut Vanilla. It smells delicious, and that was on for $3 off, so that was a great deal. Peanut butter. I needed hair clips. The kids keep breaking mine, so hopefully I will be able to keep these, I don't know, alive because everything is just gone. I can't put my hair up. It's driving me crazy. I got some uh, pore strips and then the calming lavender and cheering tangerine. This is like bath foam, like bubble bath, but uh, just a better quality and it's scented with essential oils. We have these nails I'm going to try out again. I just like the color and the length. I found these Russell Stover assorted cream chocolates for 264. I was excited to find those. I don't know. It might be a nice treat at night. And then my husband takes these sweet tart ropes to work. And then we also have Red Baron pizza. And that was it. Oh, there's donuts up there. That's about it. But yeah, a lot of uh, random stuff that we normally don't purchase. But I think we did good. And I am going to share with you this recipe here. I just have to wait for my meat to thaw. So in the cast iron, I have carrots. I have onions. I have peas. And I will cook everything in the cast iron, then transfer it to the oven. Once these get just a little bit more cooked, I add a little bit of butter and then some of that venison. You could do ground beef. I've done elk before. You could even do moose, bison, anything, but a red hearty meat is the best for this one. And then I will show you what we top everything with. I will spare you the details of cooking the meat, but it's pretty basic. So I will get back with you once the meat is cooked. Okay, before I mix it, I did put some Worcestershire in there, a little bit of liquid smoke. I'm doing some butter as well as just a dash of the onion soup mix. We just get the simple organic and it's really delicious, but that's just gonna add some flavor. I'm also gonna add some garlic salt and a little bit of black pepper and probably not onion powder because we don't want it too strong, but then I will show you the next step. It is my favorite step because potatoes are my favorite food I've now decided. So yes, this is gonna be yummy. Just kind of making like a gravy at this point. You could add some sort of dairy product to this and kind of make like a country gravy if you wanted, but this just adds some really nice depth and some flavor. If I had red wine, I would probably add that, but I just don't have any right now that I wanna open. Okay, everything is mixed together and all I did was take the leftover mashed potatoes from the holidays and then there is cheese in them so I just flipped them over so it would be the cheese touching the meat and then I just take a knife here and spread it out and then I take a fork to make that decoration everyone loves. Not sure where that cut me off but what I was saying is I make extra mashed potatoes for the holidays so I can use it for pierogi filling. I can use it to make potato pancakes. Sometimes we add, sometimes we add flour and make uh, some gnocchi, but this is just an easy way to use up mashed potatoes. And we really love putting sweet potatoes in our mashed potatoes. So I think this is gonna be delicious. The last step I do is put a little bit of olive oil on the top, just so it kind of gets a little crisp to it. But yeah, let me know your shepherd's pie recipe. I know it's not too unique over here, but the sweet potato just adds a extra element and I feel like it's just really good with the venison, but obviously it's up to you. So yeah, I'm just gonna decorate the top. I will show you my finished plate here. I baked it at 400 for right around 35 minutes. And in the meantime, I was cleaning up the kitchen. Cleaning as I go is such a game changer for me. I've been doing it for years and it's just really helpful. It just reduces a lot of clutter in the kitchen. But as you can see, it's pretty cluttered during this holiday season. I feel like we're just always, uh, baking and in the kitchen in general, but it's just heightened during the holidays. So I'm just trying to get everything out of the bags just so it looks nice to me. I feel like if my food looks nice, it's more inviting, especially fruits and vegetables, those, you know, foods that we don't typically grab for. So I'm taking it out of the bag here and I am just resetting everything, just wiping things down, trying to get my cloths cleaned up. I just take them probably every other day to the laundry and then grab new cloths. And then this is the kids in my husband's bathroom. I'm just trying to clean it up. I want to know in the comments, how often do you clean your bathrooms? I really try and wipe it down every night that I can just I don't know, to reduce germs and such, but I feel like this 
bathroom gets forgotten just because I'm not in it that often. So I'm using my Solumel from my favorite brand, The Wellness Company. If you want information on that, you have to email me. I need your email so I can send you the information. And yeah, I can tell you all about The Wellness Company. It's amazing and it has been so helpful in my cleaning journey. Non-toxic ingredients and all American made. It's just good stuff. It's a brand that's been around for almost 40 years and you know that it's good for your family. So yeah, if you want info, let me know. This is the finished product. I think it looks delicious. It smells amazing. Millie is gonna have some as well. She's been loving blueberries too, so I'm happy we got some, but I am just gonna dig in here so you can see what it looks like. But it doesn't really like set itself up like a lasagna would, but it's absolutely delicious. So we have some of those Macintosh apples from the other day. And this is just an easy way, I feel like, to not sneak in vegetable vegetables, because they're pretty visible, but I don't know, just like a different way of doing vegetables. We would have shepherd's pie all the time growing up. Let me know in the comments if you did as well. Out here in Colorado, they do a lot of green chilies and things, and um, the chief's wife actually made us this really delicious meal, and it's kind of like something like this, I feel like, but um, you put dough on top of it, and it's more of a creamy base, and you put some green chilies in it. It's really delicious. I told my dad about it and he was excited. He loves the food out here just as much as I do. So here are the kids plates. They have their veggies in there. They have some apples. They were snacking on some crackers earlier, so I'm not gonna do some butter bread on the side. I have some blueberries soaking in baking soda and water. I'm gonna smash them up and get a del uh, no, Amelia's plate and then my final plate and I will catch up with you when we're done eating. I'm looking for a brand new start I know I got some trouble getting over you I think that I've played my part I need to get away somewhere far from you I'ma buy, I'ma buy plane ticket Run away by myself for a minute I don't have, I don't have any limits Ooh, ooh I'm looking for a place where I can feel alive
Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see. Nine, ten. Okay, good night. Sorry, Dolly. Okay. Oh. Dang, it's so windy. This is Amelia's makeshift dresser just because we don't have one for her yet, but that is okay. Here are all the socks. Wilder really likes to organize those. And my last task of the night is getting his homeschool math curriculum in these uh, binders, I guess you can call them. We are using the good and the beautiful and they're just really great. You can print them out for free and put them in the spiral bounds or you can get the books, which we might be doing because this was a bit tedious. So that is going to be all for today. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. I hope you're having a happy holidays. I can't wait for New Year's and I can't wait for some new videos. I will catch you on the next one. See you later.